That didn't feel very nice. So I'm back out doing some more landscape photography. It's really rainy again. You can probably tell by my hair. Um, I'm back up near the woods that I've done in like the last three videos. I did wander about a mile or two that way and there was nothing there. It just opened out and turned into roads and I don't really like that kind of thing. I prefer it more like in the woods like this. So I think in the second video I did, I said I was going to head down and follow a track up, but I never did that. So I'm going to go and do that now. So we'll go and see what's up there. Fingers crossed we don't end up at them trees again, because that's where I usually end up. But we'll see what we can find. It's quite misty above Windermere today. We could go at Gummer's Hall, but I think that's kind of pointless today. I think we're better off going in there. go wrong. Uh, that's really slimy. Oh god. So I've just realised that Two videos ago we went up that way that's where the trees that i thought are liked actually last time we were there the mist had gone so it might work this time this isn't the same place that's good Like a wig around there. Ooh. I was wrong, this isn't the same place, but this is kind of cool. There's a like a wigwam here, and that tree's got is it like moss? You see it on that side where it's quite thick. So I think if we climb up here. We can get the wigwam bottom left and then that as if it's sheltering it. Um, it's really rainy so I don't want to get my other camera out so I'll just run it through as I'm doing it. Just thinking out loud while I'm setting this up. It has got like a, a nice bench down here. So I'm not sure if, whether it, it is better to go there or lower down. Then you can see underneath this and look up at that. Then you get this grass in the foreground. That sounds like the better option. I don't like these branches. So maybe from here. I'm going to keep this on my back today because this is going to get soaked. I think it'd be better if we use a polarizer. So we'll stick this on. Oh no. There we go. So we use the lens hood. We will keep on the lens cap for now. We'll keep this ready because we'll need it again. I think what I'm going to need is maybe 5.6. We'll go to ISO 50. Let's see how we get on here. I might need to go further back actually. But we'll try this one here. 
just focusing on the on the teepee on the wood we'll use the polarizer just to help bring out the colors just there I'm going to use a two second timer. I'm going to go up to 100 ISO and get a slightly faster shutter speed. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit too tight. Okay, so I found a composition that I prefer now. I've moved slightly further back. When I was down there, it was just too tight. I'm struggling to get the tops of the TP in anyway, but we'll get this one here and we can always move further back. I think I'm going to do one like really wide open at 2.8, then your eyes drown into that, then that'll be slightly out of focus. Yeah, I think that works better. So I'm just going to have a bit of a play around here, try a few different compositions. Um, that's the main gist of it though. I want that TP on the left. I want to see the gap underneath that bench and I want to get that canopy of trees over there. So the rain stopped a little bit. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to get misty. So I'm going to get one last photo and then going to move on and see what else is in here. It, we can always come back to this. Hopefully, if I can find my way back. Um, I think this would look pretty cool when it was misty. So, yeah, it's going quite well. There's a few tracks down there. So, I think last time I went left. So, we'll go right next time. Maybe this is where we were last time. Yeah, we're back into the same place as two videos ago, so I might, I might go back that way. I know what's down there. Okay. Found a different path to the teepee. Uh, this is where I was before. I walked right down there. It wasn't that good. So it seems like I've explored most of this area now. There's probably a few tracks that haven't been down, but I know my way around it. So next time it's really misty, we'll come back here. I can see some mist on the top of them ones. I think I'm gonna wait here and see if that comes this way. Um, I'm gonna end the video though. I'll put them pictures on to the end because I'm not sure if that will happen, that's quite a long way away. So it'll probably disappear by the time it gets here. But I hope you like the video. I'll link the, the last few videos in here below. So I've done it again. I waited here for like 30, 40 minutes. Then I started to make my way down through the woods. But when I was in there, I was surrounded by um, mist. See, it's coming in there. So I ran back up here because I think it's going to pass through this way we only need like a little bit of it I'm not sure what my obsession is with mist at the moment I've probably said it 40 times in this video I think I jinxed it it's all gone okay I'm gonna wait here anyway fingers crossed here's a um, photo of trees in the mist